what's up my real ones today we have chipotle chipotle thank you lord for this amazing chipotle my dog is in the background making noise i don't know where this glare is coming from i don't see it with my eye i don't know if it's my phone my grandma just passed away i don't know if it's an angel like sitting here with us if it is welcome <laughs> lord thank you for the chipotle chipotle <laughs> i'm so hungry i've been running around all day trying to prepare for um a funeral let me taste my guacamole something in my belly i am hungry okay i don't like when it has stringies in it all right these strings i don't like that but anyway it's a beautiful day. He knows when I'm on a video. So he makes a lot of noise. Mm. Today we're just going to talk about just knowing who you are. He is really like trying it today. So on my Chipotle... I have a vegetable bowl with black beans, with brown rice, with corn, a pico de gallo, lettuce, um, guacamole and sauce on the side. I think that's it. Like the corn, all the vegetables. Oh, I didn't get the grilled vegetables. They didn't have any. I just realized they didn't have the vegetables. With, um, it was like, you know, like the peppers and onions thing because i always ask for like all vegetables and i have cheese as well mm, 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 mm. we have to know who we are we have to know who we are in god we just have to know have a knowing like when my grandma passed away this god told me um Oh, you're going to go through seven stages of grief. No, I'm not. I'm not going through seven stages of grief. I'm going to rejoice. <clears throat> I'm going to thank God that I had her for as long as I did. For over 90 years. I'm going to go through <clears throat> the seven stages of the fruits of the spirit. That's what I am going through. The peace, the patience, the love, <clears throat> the kindness, the self-control the forgiveness like i'm going through them stages i'm not going through like grief stages i'm going through growth thank you lord mm. <clears throat> i'm coughing because it's so spicy and it hit the back of my throat i wasn't ready <clears throat> excuse me coughing all on the food mm. and then recently i had someone tried to profit lie to me two times two separate times and it, it's just too much sometimes like mm, 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 mm. Mm. you have to know who you are in christ you have to know what god's calling you to do you have to read the word for yourself because this person doesn't really know me. They know of me. And like uh, Bishop Bronner always says that a lie believed becomes the truth. So I've already, I've always felt a certain vibe from this person. But this person, when they prophesied lie to me, calling it, they called it a prophet. They were prophesying. When someone prophesies to you, you're gonna, it's gonna be like a knowing in your spirit. Like it's gonna be a confirmation of something you already know. Your spirit is gonna connect to it. But this person said some things that was not connected in my spirit, and it made me feel uncomfortable. And then I started second guessing stuff, and it, it just brings confusion. Nine times out of ten, if a if a so-called prophecy brings a bunch of confusion that is not god i don't care if they call themselves this and that they're a prophet of the lord they're this they're i don't care if they go to church every day of the week uh -uh. you have to know who you are 
Mm. Sometimes people can see you and get a perception and maybe even think you don't know God, not knowing that you're fasting, that you're praying, that you're seeking the throne, that you're connecting with him because you're not telling everyone. They're just reading the book and judging the book by its cover. So you really, truly have to know who you are in God. Boy, I, I I know you're not tearing up my rug. Do not bite on this rug. That's what you've been doing, tearing up this rug on that corner. Uh-uh, you don't bite on that. Excuse me, y'all. And just know, man, stay rooted because when you're trying to do better, Satan is going to be pissed. He's going to be living. This week, I've been really, like, just seeking him. And so much stuff has been going wrong. It's like the closer you get to him, the more just stuff goes wrong. And sometimes people will back off with getting close to God because they seem like their life is getting worse and not better. But the truth is the devil doesn't have to fight you when you're on his team. When I was out there in the world, he didn't have to fight me. When you switch sides and switch teams, of course he's coming after you. I'm just making a mess. But you have to put your spiritual eyes on them and see see it see it for what it is. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Get your hamburgers eat. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all. This rice doesn't cook really good, but who cares? I'm so hungry. I'll eat it. Satan is even so tricky, even when it comes to the food we eat. You know, we can get frustrated and just eat crazy. And it hurts us when we do that. It truly hurts us. Because we'll start feeling weighed down. We won't have clarity of mind. Like, I wanted to go to Golden Crust. Shout out to Golden Crust. I like them. But I wanted some mac and cheese. I wanted some cabbage. You know, I just wanted stuff. Just something. Some comfort food. But Chipotle brings life. It's like down to the simplest decisions that you make affect everything. What you eat, what you think. Like, we have to be aware, man. And we need to be aware of Satan's tactics. Whether he's using food, whether he's using a person, whether he's using a circumstance. Like, I was having a pretty good day. I was coming home on break. I was walking up the steps and I busted my phone. The phone that I'm using now, I busted it. So the screen's all cracked up. It looked like a hot mess. And I had to let not let that ruin my day, ruin my minute, ruin my hour, ruin nothing. You know, I had to just swallow that junk. Mm. And look at it as a positive, like... When stuff breaks down, you have to get something new. Maybe it's time for me to get a new phone. I don't feel like spending the extra money for one just off the fly. But sometimes we won't do something until something happens. I wasn't planning on getting a new phone, but hey, maybe God wants me to upgrade. Hey, because all things work together for the good of those that love God. So hopefully a blessing comes out of it. But we really have to know who we are, man. I'm watching my dog because he's been acting crazy. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I have so much running around and still do to them. And I ain't going to lie, I've been running around this morning. I'm already exhausted. I just want to lay down. And it's raining. 
I just want to lay down, put on a movie, or read a book, and chill out. Like, I don't really want to do anything. But I promised somebody I was going to do something. So I'm trying to be a woman of my word. Because our word is all we have. But today I feel like I over, you know, like promised myself. I wonder if brown rice supposed to be kind of hard. Maybe I normally I normally get the cilantro lime. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I know brown rice has to cook longer than normal rice. Anybody that can eat a whole chipotle bowl like in one sitting, baby. Shout out to you, cause I'm already full and I ain't even really like attacked it. But chipotle brings life. I'm kind of tired just because when you haven't eaten in a while and then you eat, it kind of makes you tired. Mm. God is doing a new thing mm. in this season. My grandma passed away and it feels like she handed me a torch, a literal torch to burn up any unforgiveness, to burn up any thing that I'm scared to do it's like she literally handed a little torch to me and I feel good I feel bold I feel courageous I feel merciful I feel forgiving I feel I'm starting to feel more patient I'm starting to feel less anxious glory be to God because only he can change the inside I've just been seeing so many people that so there's just so materialistic lately and these materials, these Birkins, these, all this stuff is not going to help us. It's not going to help. If anything, y'all ain't here, Biggie, more money, more problems, more stuff, more problems. We got to give ourselves away to God, man. I'm going to have to really wrap this up because, oh my gosh, I have so much to do. But I had to stop and do self-care, which was feed my dog on belly. It ain't something too too much, but this meal has sustained me for like maybe even the rest of the day. Mm, 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 mm. Hopefully. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all, this food and just brought this girl back to life. Oh, I am listening to an audio book by Joyce Meyer. It's called Do Yourself a Favor and Forgive. One of the best audio books I've listened to in a while. Very short and sweet. Very straight to the point cutthroat. Very convicting, very life-changing audio book. I have to pick up another one of hers as well. I think I'm about to read, which I have upstairs in my room. I'm teetering if I'm going to read it or not. The Coldest Winter Ever too, Only because it's like winters in hell. And I just don't know. I don't, I don't know. I'm going to start it and see where it takes my spirit. Like, if it's just too demonic, I'm not going to read it. But I love Sister Soldier. All right, my phone's about to die because it has no stories. I love y'all. Know yourself, love yourself, be yourself. Man, have a blessed day, y'all. Love y'all.